Hello, so today we are going to do a demonstration on how to make pickled, um, refrigerator pickled beets uh, from the garden. We did some out of the clinic garden and some out of my garden. And I'm doing refrigerator pickled beets because this is something you can do at home without anything special. You'd have a pot, some measuring things, some spices. You don't have to um, can them um, and, and pressurize them and those kind of things. You just Put them in the fridge and keep them safe. These will keep in your refrigerator for three weeks, three months, and you can pickle other vegetables. Um, there's some benefits to eating um, pickled foods that are fermented, right? Um, they have good probiotics and prebiotics that are good for the gut. So I'm learning to eat pickled foods. So I took the beets and I, I washed them and I um, put them in the pot because you want to cook them first two different kinds of beets. I don't know if you can, what's the best way to show them. There's a gold beet and a uh, regular beet. So we're gonna do two different kinds of pickled beets. These have been processed in my Instant Pot for four minutes. So when you're doing that to keep them from bleeding, you wanna leave the little tops on in the bottom and then they pretty much come off pretty easily. We'll peel them. Warm and they're hot. It's kind of the oven, oven hot. Look pretty that is. Mm -hmm. So I'll slice those up, but I want to get them done first. So the purple ones bleed a lot. That's why you have gloves, so you don't you're not getting everything all red. All right, so I have. Prepped all these, they're all peeled. I should have showed you, you take the top off and the bottom and then the peeling comes right off. I have two different kinds, so I'm trying to keep them separate. So in the, um, I'm gonna take my water. This is like two cups water. You can pre pretty much for Pinterest any, or look up Google any refrigerator pickle recipe. That's water. This is I think two and a half cups apple cider vinegar. This is all my seasonings. I'm gonna put this on high. I just wanna get it high. I have a cinnamon. Wanna look at it? I'm being all professional. <laughs> so that is cloves, allspice, um, mustard seed. Is there supposed to be um, cinnamon stick? Cinnamon stick. Was there supposed to be? I bought, got that as optional. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you wanna make them spicier, add the red pepper flakes. Sure. We're gonna measure that perfectly. That's about right. <laughs> so while that's um, boiling, I'm gonna slice these. I have my jars over there ready. I'm gonna do the cheese ones first. So kind of wanna keep them uniform in size. Golden beet. They smell good too. So there's all kinds of vegetables you can pickle. You can do cucumbers, you can do cauliflower, those little vegetable mix um, mixes. Um, with the refrigerator pickles, they have to remain in the fridge. They are not um, shelf stable. So just keep that in mind. I can't, we won't be able to put these on the cupboard and walk away. I do make ones that are pickled and I actually process those. Um, but we're trying to make this something that anybody can do at home. So these, some of these were grown here at the clinic and some are grown in my garden at home. Uh, these little bitty ones are just gonna go in half. So the seed, I said that the seasonings were right. Mm -hmm. There's other seasoning options. You can do a dill one. You can do um, a caraway one. 
You can just do the vinegar, sugar, and water and not do seasonings. So it's all dependent on your personal taste preferences. I didn't know I liked pickle beets until someone brought them to an event. And what am I going to do with all these? Open them up and I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do with these. These are good. <laughs> They're a nice little treat to have if you don't know what you want at night and you want to kind of snack on something. Just grab a dill. These are pickles or other things. So they're... There's salt in this? Oh yeah, I did salt. I did salt. I didn't ask for much. Oh yeah, with all the other seasonings, there's a little bit of salt. With pickle pickles, with the brine, there is one that's got a lot of salt. This one only is like a tablespoon. These are pretty too. Pretty. Oh, those look like a heart. Aww. Did you zoom in? So cute. And I'm wearing the gloves because I don't want to have red hands for the rest of the week or day, anyways. <laughs> So these are still pretty warm from the Instant Pot. You can also, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can also put them in the oven. A little bit of water. Just so they're soft. You don't want them to be hard. So these aren't like the old school lunch beets that were just, that everybody hated or you got at the hospital and they didn't taste very good. These are real good. My, a couple of my grandkids and my nephew really liked beets. So don't think that you're not going to like them. Have them try them. I'm really surprised a couple of my kids will dig into the beets and eat them. There's other ways you can process them as well. I've only done them in pickled beets. I, I haven't even canned the just plain beets in water because I don't know that I will like them like I like these. So I should listen to my own advice and try it, but it's a lot of work if I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to stay with the red. So I've got my jars. Is there like a, a limit to how many you should put in there or no. it doesn't matter? No, just as long as you can cover them. If you're canning it, you want to go to a certain, it's called headspace. Um, we're just going to cover mm -hmm. these. Um, so we're good, but for head, you want to do the headspace because you want to put it in the canner and have it um, do what it needs to do. But we're not canning, so it's not as crucial. But it's very, very important when you're when you're canning to follow those instructions. Yeah, like the onions will they impart a good, nice, yummy flavor too. Mm -hmm. Fridge. 
to like get good flavor. It takes yeah. about a week. And the brine, which is the brine, I guess, will work its way into the, impart the flavor into the whatever vegetable you're pickling. And it preserves it. This is preserved. You couldn't keep a beet cut up cooked in the fridge for six, for three months. It's the vinegar and sugar that are, and the refrigerator are acting as a preservative. And if I'm really canning, I would, because you want to create a seal. We're not needing to seal these, so these don't even have to be these don't even have to be canning jars. These could be a leftover jam jar with its lid because you're not canning it. So it's okay to reuse a, a lid you have, a, a jar you have at home, peanut butter jar, as long as you have a lid that'll fit, you're good. Just because it's a refrigerator pickle, which is different than the other kinds. And you can make these smaller if you want. You want them diced up, you can make them diced up. Whatever, however you like them. If they're little tiny ones, you can make, leave them whole. Um, I think you could even do these in big jars. Let's say you really like them and you have a big pickle jar. I had one and I thought about doing it, but I didn't want to use that much space in my fridge. Um, you can also take this brine later and use it as a really good salad dressing. Um, you could put your, after it's done, you can boil eggs and put eggs in there. I don't know how long that keeps. I haven't done it yet because I don't know that that sounds wonderful to me, but it might to somebody else. I've seen it. People put their pickled beets, their, their eggs in their pickled beet juice. But the broth is really good, or the brine is really, really delicious. It's so cool. I've only been canning for three years. Where do you get your canning supplies from? Um, wherever. I have people tagging me all over the place on Facebook. Um, I get it from Walmart, um, Ace, True Value, um, Super One. Any, a lot of stores have them. I actually, during COVID, everybody was hoarding, so I was getting really worried, so I started hoarding. <laughs> so I, I shouldn't buy any jars for a long time. Another test I'll show you to do when you're actually canning. We're not actually canning. Oh, I could use a paper towel so I can throw this away, but it's all right. These can go on salads, the side of a dish, just eaten. I went to a restaurant one time in Nevada and they had pickled beets on their burgers. Really? They were really good. Yeah. Were they like big like this? Yeah, they were like the big slices. Oh, cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. You know, I never thought I would try much of what I've tried since I've been gardening. And I'm learning what I don't like. I'm learning what I won't do next year. Um, I tried some vegetables and it's like, yeah, do these. It's like, no, I don't know. I know I'm doing more radishes next year. You can pick a radishes. You can roast radishes. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. Divine. Did not know you could do that, and they just totally make them mild and delicious. When you go to the restroom, you will know you've eaten pickles. <laughs> so don't be afraid. You don't need to go to the hospital. Especially beets. <laughs> well, that's what I meant, pickle beets. Yeah. Because that color. Days. Yeah. When you don't know that, it's kind of scary. Again, these are refrigerator pickle beets. Not to be mistaken with ones that you leave on the shelf. That's a whole different process. And you would get very ill if you tried to do that and die. So let's not do that. So these are refrigerator pickles. Aren't those pretty? Beautiful. And the vegetables, the onions that are in there are going to get whatever color they are. But, yep. 
perfect. Clean up time.